Welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we defeated our imposters. And uh, actually, that was pretty bloody cool. I'd never done that before. Uh, so that was all new to me. At least, I don't remember doing it anyway. So, next on the agenda, let's head back to fight uh, Pastel, or whatever her name is. Let's see if we can't knock her down a peg. But we also have yet another... Ooh, do we want to check out... Ah, uh, we can buy stuff somewhere else. That's not a problem. We've got plenty of items, I was going to say. I always like to top up, um, but I think we're okay. So let's return to the Delphinus for now. And we shall make some progress towards... Actually, wait a minute. Whilst we're so close to Yefatoma, what we could actually do uh, is head back to Yefatoma. And um, apparently, like, uh, the game's librarian has been informing me that I've missed a... Yeah, we can't cut through there, can we? I've missed a chest there, and uh, he's been telling me <laughs> about this chest for what seems like 10 videos. And I keep saying I'm going to go back and get it, but we keep doing other things. However, um, <laughs> we should probably do it before I completely forget, because we have to get all of the chests anyway. So it makes sense to go do that now. Well, that was a shitty battle. But we've got a thousand gold, so you know. Uh, can we not? We can't cut through this rift, can we? Son of a bitch. We can't. Oh. Can we go through that way? There's also a guy that we need to get as well. Can't remember the best way to get through Yifatoma. I know we can go straight round to the other side of the map, but that's like miles away, man. And I don't really want to do that, so let's just head north and see if this uh, rift here, the sky rift, actually clears up a little bit. Of course, we're going to be fighting hundreds and thousands along the way. Um, You know what? A mega cyclone. Destroy all enemies on the screen, sure. Let's see if this is going to actually do what we want it to do. Oh, hang on. We actually have uh, other equipment, don't we? Thinking about it. Did we equip the other equipment? I can't remember in the last battle. That was like yesterday, man. I don't remember what happens yesterday. Yesterday was a lifetime ago. That's right. So we had the uh, Suram Blade, but we also got the Tuna Cutlass, uh, which does nine. That's it. Nine more damage, but <laughs> like the hit percentage goes down by by 90 percent. Like seriously, or like 90 points. It's not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. Uh, extremely effective armor from the east, crafted from the scales of large creatures. Yes, we got the Berserker Mail as well, which, uh, if we equip that, look at that. We got 20% plus to hit. We have um, 20, yeah, plus 20 to attack. And what is my cat doing? I don't think my cat even knows what he's doing. And even the magic goes up, so... Nice. Uh, we also, I believe, for Ica, we got her a new weapon. Uh, ooh. Received from the imposter, Anita will always confuse any enemy not immune to confuse. That's actually quite good, and her hit goes up by 90. But... But her attack will go down by 30. That's a lot. Hmm. I don't know, dudes. I I don't think the swirl meringue is worth it. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's not worry about that then. Let's get going. We'll be here all day otherwise. There we go. We should be able to go through this white cloud rift. We actually can. Excellent. Where does that put us? Puts us up here. But can we go through this? I don't think so. 
So this is technically the Dark Rift. Let's see if we can kill these guys. Go for your Mega Cyclone. Oh, lovely. Right, let's ignore. Okay, that's fine. It seems to be whenever we fast forward. Um, I think. At least mostly. Uh, thinking about it, I have had that happen off camera. When uh, I haven't been fast forwarding, so. Right, so this just seems to loop around. Although luckily that error doesn't stop anything. Yeah, there really isn't any easy way to get to cut through there, is there? We just have to go through here. Ah, oh, that's such a pain. Um, that is unfortunate. Now, technically, there is a boss creature somewhere around here. Which we could actually go for. Which I might actually do that. Whilst we're here. Um... Let's just attack as usual. Use the Omega Cyclone. Should kill everything. I say should. Optimistically. Oh, I love that move. And my cat is... Yeah, this is not going to work whilst I'm recording, is it, boy? I tried. I don't actually think the other cat is in here. Yeah, unfortunately, I did used to ban the cats from the gaming room, but we started letting them back in when one of them went missing, just for a little bit of comfort. And, well, Pandora's box has been opened. Ah, there's the enemy dead ahead, the, the secret boss. Uh, now, apparently, like, somehow... We can swap out crew. I don't know how we swap out crew. Uh, also, if we go to Vase, we can see we're now Vase, King of the Rogues. Yeah. Um. Ah, change crew. There we go. What? What? I didn't realize we had all of this. Dude. Okay. We've got a journal. Yeah, that kind of gives you a good uh, feel of how far through the story we are. And we're actually we're almost 75% through the story. I didn't realize we had all of this. How cool. Uh, so, change crew. Um... So we almost have everybody we want. Now, I need to try and think who we need. Lookout Merchant Builder, Ismail, Cook. One second, let me just do a little bit of looking up. Let me find out who we need to get the uh, bonus stuff because uh, one of the cat. Now we didn't do the hidden bosses because we needed a crew member, um, who will actually help us get stuff. I have a. F it's not the m um, delegate. I don't think. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, this this guide is endless. This guide that I have is, I think. 134 pages. It's absolute insanity. So, crew members is 009. Let's search for that. 009. So, crew members. Cool. I think there's only one crew member, really, that we have left. We should be able to get him in the not-too-distant future. 
Uh, Bell is not the one we want. Uh, Kilfer. I think it's Kilfer. Yeah, so Kilfer. Aha, she's the merchant. So we need her. Uh, now, I don't know if she actually has to be active. Right. Oh, it tells us all here. This is fucking cool. I didn't know about this. Right, so. Having Kilfer in your active crew will increase your chance of finding special items. Um, yes. Or having Osmond in your crew will increase your chance of finding expensive items. I'd rather get the special ones, to be honest. So let's see what... Let's have a crew check here. So Mercenary for Hire. He sells the skies for a steep price. He will increase your ships quick. Uh, and he will increase your ships... Dodge. So quick versus dodge. Um... Well, quick 30, I mean, 30 could be anything, but dodge plus 15%. Uh, yeah, let's go for plus 15% on the dodge. So we've only got one engineer. Now, so having Bell in your active crew will increase the damage done by your secondary cannons. We don't care about secondary cannons. Main cannons is Kazim. Uh, well, we'll have Kazim then, for sure. Uh... So let's see the difference between these two. So having uh, uh, Tiki Ka Tiki Tiki him in your active crew increases your torpedoes hit, or having uh, ah Domingo increases your chance of delivering critical hits. I'd rather have a higher crit chance for sure. Um, let's see the difference between the builders. Uh, using the crew command, she will replenish your ship's HP to full. Having Ismail on your... Uh, will increase the destructive power of your Moonstone cannon. I would say I'd rather have a one-shot chance or one-shot ability of completely healing us. Like one complete full heal. That seems useful. Um, so, let's see our cooks. Using the crew, she'll replenish one character's MP. Using the crew command, she will max out your spirit points. Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> let's see. Fully restore our MP or max out spirit points. Yeah, they're not very well balanced, are they? Uh, spirit points, for sure. Um, <laughs> Marco and Robinson. Using... Uh, it will double your spirit points for one turn. He will reduce the spirit point cost for actions for a turn. There, ooh, okay. So you can double them or reduce them. I mean, they uh, they basically both do the same thing, don't they? You can either have twice as many points or you can reduce the cost. Not a huge difference between them. So, using the crew command, he will raise your chance of attacking first for a full turn. It's not bad. Having... Uh, Meridia in your active crew will increase your ship's value. Well, I don't know what that does, so we won't play with that. I don't know what our ship's value has to do with anything. Using the crew command, he will protect your ship from enemy cannon fire for a full turn. That's nice. Protect, ooh, protect you from enemy magic for a full turn. Yeah, well, either or really, we'll go for that. Okay, interesting. I had no idea that ship was there. Right, let's go take on this thing, this giant floating squid. Now, this thing is one of the four optional slash hidden bosses in the game. Uh, I don't think I've ever fought this thing, so this is going to be new and interesting. Let's go! Now that is one ugly son of a bitch. Now I think these are just, um, you have to fight these things. Ah, that squid's huge! It's bigger than a ship! Yeah, you have to fight these things um, to get the completion bonus. 
and to allow like um, some really cool endgame stuff. Uh, I have heard stories about a giant squid, but I've never actually believed any of them. Alright everyone, battle stations. Let's go. So first thing we're going to want to do is actually... Uh, active crew increases your chance of delivering critical hits. Replenish your ship. Max out your spirit points. Well... Let's pop that. Costs 15 to use, but we're going to max out our spirit points, so that's fine. And then for the rest of the turn, we will... You know what? Oh, God. We'll see what happens here. Hey, max out my ass. I didn't max this out at all. Gave us 59 though, which was pretty good. Okay. Let's take the evasive action whilst I drink coffee. Squid ink. If we can. Ooh, nasty. Alright. 1000 damage. That doesn't really affect us that much. We need to get the Moonstone Cannon up its ass. That'll make it smile. Assessing damage. What are you, a machine? Well, it might be. You know what this game's like. It's been a while since we've had some good air-to-air -air combat in this game. Is that what it's going to do? Squid Ink? Yeah, this doesn't really, this doesn't really hurt us much. Right, okay, well we don't have... I guess we can't actually use anything. We've got the Arc Whale Torpedo. Let's just get some cannons out. See if we can start doing some damage to this thing. Oh wow, okay. We might not need to bring the Moonstone Cannon to bear. Might not. Come on, you big ugly bastard. Ooh, yeah, he doesn't like that. Doesn't like that at all. Whoa. Ugh. It's coming apart. Jesus. I was not expecting that. You're going to have to do a little bit more than a bit of squid ink, Milado. It's like we're going to be having Karamari for quite some time. God, I love the ship design in this game. I really do. It's so cool. It's so kind of like futuristic, but um, retro as well. Really cool. Oh, that's going to sting. Whoa. I wonder if this thing, like, evolves. Does it have, like, another... Um... Another phase. I don't think so. I don't think it's much to us, anyway. Doesn't that thing know when to give up? It's already lost one leg. It's not a leg, but okay. And it's still attacking us. That one tentacle alone could probably feed us for a month. What a waste. Yeah, probably. Oh, we can potentially use the Moonstone Cannon next turn. So let's hit it up with some more firepower for now. Let's just do that. And then we will... Uh, is it worth repairing? I mean, not really, but you never know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Oof. That thing is really unsettling. Well, we'll have to eat 
better things, unfortunately, guys. Like pizza and whatever the hell else we can get at port. Fresh fruit. I'd rather eat a whole bowl full of fruit than that any day. Although, to be fair, I do like fruit. As long as it's not grapefruit, I'm happy. Nice little bit of damage there. Yeah, we're, we're not going to need the Moonstone Cannon. Like, at all. Assessing damage? Dude, you've lost, like, 30% of your mass. Haha, -ha, he's gone. He is gone. That was a nice, easy little kill. Yeah, we didn't actually get a lot of XP for that, did we? Still, that's one of the mythical beasts destroyed. An alloy deck. Okay. I wonder if that alloy deck is actually any good. Nope, we want equipment, dude. Heavy armor deck. Right, so the alloy. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's decently better. So that gives us a defense of 84. That gives us a defense of 154. Yeah, nice. All right. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess that was worth it. Now, I don't know if uh, you can fight those things again. Or like I said, I don't know if it's a one and done sort of thing. Or what, but... Well, we've ridded one of the mythical beasts from the skies. The Delphinus stands proud and invincible. Which is the way we like it. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to have to cut down here. Full speed. Full speed. Which leads us straight into glorious combat. With these bloody things. A mega cyclone. There we go. Yeah, definitely not a huge amount of um, damage on these things. Should be able to finish them all off now. Really? What is with that accuracy? That was terrible. Oh well. Ooh, is that a discovery? Kind of looks like it should be. Definitely looks like it should be a discovery. It looks somewhat important. It's kind of like a load of boulders, but nope. Okay. Well, that is a discovery that we've already got. God damn it. I've noticed they've got a blooper there, but that's fine. I don't think we can actually hurt bloopers. Oh, we can. I didn't think we could hurt them with the Iker's ability, but that's fine. We shall take it. So, Vase has maxed out on red. That's fine. Okay. Now, oh, come on. We must be getting kind of close to where we need to go. Ugh. Combat. Always with the combat. Yeah, this definitely would be a little frustrating if we couldn't fast forward the battles. Because uh, most of these videos would just be random battles. Or I'd just need to do a hell of a lot more editing, cutting out videos. Which would make the recording of this game insane. Ah, oh, dude, come on, man. Play fair, yo. kind of weird because um, I've noticed that your party's move uh, rotor is random. There doesn't seem to be any rank or rhyme. Well, I mean, you know, we're learning new spells, so 
That's good. We are earning gold as well. Gold is always good. Can never have too much gold. And I guess we're making this uh, world safe one battle at a time. By, you know, making most of the wildlife native to this area extinct. Which, considering the wildlife is so hostile, is that really a bad thing? Uh, okay, so we're actually, we're making progress. Kind of. Now. Question is. How close are we? To the actual break point. Let's try and remember where that bloody break point was. These big bulb things are actually... Uh, Quite resilient to our damage. Nice. Okay. So. Yeah, so the... I think the break is there. It's something like that. Oh, I guess we're going to find out. So, if we keep going forwards... I guess we're going to get into more glorious combat. Ooh, hello. Haven't seen this color before, I don't think. Galoopo. Nah, we must have done. We must have done. Well. As long as there are no survivors and our gold reserves are increasing. Hey, and we got a level as well, so. You know. It's never a waste when we're getting experience. So, ah, here it is. Right, so mark that on the map. So it is basically on this line here. Cool. Right, now let's go to Yifatoma. If we can get that. God damn it. God damn it. That's one thing that stops me um, going back and playing a lot of the old Pokemon games as well. It's just the relentless... Um, Battles, you know. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Pokemon being played by the Games Librarian, and it's really good. But <laughs> it's just giving me flashbacks of all those random battles. Man, we we are making ourselves fairly wealthy, though. So, I mean, how much cash do we have now? Yeah, we got a lot. I think we get another title if we can manage to save up like a million in money. Now that's a lot, by the way. They're A-rated fish. Let's get a few of those. Ugh. Shouldn't have tempted fate, should we? <laughs> Never tempt fate. Oh, that was unfortunate. I need to start... Um, well, I was going to say cutting them out, but I suppose when you can just fast forward the battles, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. So we're almost there. We just need to go north. All this for a chest. I hope that chest is worth it. Well, all the chests are worth it. They have to be, because you have to get them all. Well, I think you have to get 99% of the chests. Now, the thing is, I don't know what chest it is, but at least we get to enjoy the wonderful music here. And that's never a bad thing. I know the chest that we want, you need to use a tub ship to get. Now, I thought we got them all, but we haven't. Ship parts. Now, I don't think this dude's really got anything for us. Rudder grease. Slows the rate of spirit consumption. That could really be quite useful, in all fairness. But my god, that stuff is expensive. Restore spirit. Just top up on those, I guess. 
Concussion bombs we're never going to use. Oh, actually, we could sell that armoured hull, couldn't we? Uh, heavy armoured deck, yeah. That was a nice amount of money. Not bad. Now we have our new Moonstone Enriched Alloy deck. You know, maybe those sky fish don't actually taste like fish. They wouldn't taste all salty and... I don't know what it is with fish, actually. I don't know I don't know what exactly it is specifically that I don't like about them. It's just... ugh. Okay, now, if I was a chest, where would I be? Is that a chest? Nope, that's a seat. Yes, so, yes, yes. Chest. Hello, dude. I wouldn't jump off that if I was you. Hello, you must be one of those Westerners I've heard uh, about. Is it really true that you don't have black eyes and hair? Oh. My dream is to bring lots of Westerners like you to this country as tourists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Line your pockets. Mm hmm. Now, where is this? See, there's that one that we've got. I might need to go back and consult my guide. There's nothing there. Hmm, I've probably got a uh, games librarian screaming at me as we speak. That would not surprise me, unless we have to go down there maybe. Because, yeah, maybe. Let's go down and have a look. Ah, I suppose whilst we're at the item shop, we can see if there's anything good we can stock up on. I do wish every item shop stocked the same stuff. Like, once you've gone to a far off land and you've unlocked it, it'd be nice if everything stocked that stuff then. But, you know, uh, yeah, well. Load up on those. Oof. Definitely need to load up on those. Load up on those. Yeah, this this was Owie. Ouch. That's expensive. But how many do we have? Seventeen. Okay. 30 should be plenty for now. Should be. Right. Now we're poor. Although, not really. Definitely not that poor. We will probably be here again at some point. Actually, I don't really think we have much need after collecting this chest to come back. Um... Right. Dude, give me a tub ship. Because I don't know what we're missing. Like I said, I'm guessing we need to go down there. I guess. Give me me tub ship, dude. Okay. Reminds me of Theme Park. You remember Theme Park? Such a cool game. I've got the music for that game, like, in my skull. I'll never forget that glorious music. Oh, we got, oh yeah, we got, we've seen the ducks. So we had that woman. We had that. Nope. Is Chris pulling a fast one on us? Have we already got this chest? I think we may have, you know. Now, how do we dock here? I guess we can't actually get off there. We need to go here. Yeah. 
If I don't find it in a second, I'll look it up. So there's stuff there, but we can't pick that up. That's where we found one of our members of crew. Uh, there's nothing there. And this takes us straight up to the top, I believe. And then this just takes us up to the top again. And then this will bring us straight back down. I still don't know who puts that tub ship up there. Right. I'm sure that we've collected all three chests from here. Let me go check my notes. Uh, and if we haven't, then in the first... That will be the first thing we do when we come back. Because I will look it up and find out where this uh, chest is. But like I say, I'm sure we already have it. That leads up to the castle thing. Right. Okay, leave it with me, guys. I'm going to try and find this chest. But I'm sure I got them all. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.